Well, a Central Florida man found himself handcuffed and locked up in jail. Yeah, but he is not a criminal. Instead, he's a victim of identity theft. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest has been digging into this arrest. He joins us now in the studio. And Mike, how did an innocent man wind up in jail? Well, Ginger, the simple answer is that a longtime criminal stole his identity. But my investigation has found that law enforcement missed multiple opportunities to confirm the two men's identities, which led to the wrong one going to jail. I'm going to have you come right over here, all right? During bike week, no, Daytona Beach police in. stopped this man for a minor traffic infraction. That's when officers discovered an arrest warrant. If he looks surprised, it's because this biker has never been in trouble with the law. Like, I worked my life hard not to go to jail, and I'm here now when something I even do. His name is Jonah Scott Miller. The arrest warrant was for Zinn Molly McDade, a transient with a lengthy criminal record. I know a guy named Zinn, but I didn't know his last name. I hadn't seen him in since middle school. As News 6 discovered, the warrant was for that childhood friend who Miller says he hasn't spoken with in nearly 20 years. Hey, you got a lot of aliases? Miller was placed in handcuffs, even though McDade was the one wanted by police for shoplifting cell phone chargers. Why did that happen? A computer database used by law enforcement shows Zinn McDade has several aliases, including Jonah Scott Miller. How did the names get linked together? News 6 may have uncovered the answer. Last year, McDade was caught trespassing at this 7-Eleven in Cocoa Beach. According to a report, the transient lied to a police officer claiming his name was Jonah Scott Miller. Somehow, he was able to tell police his old friend's date of birth, birthplace, address, and last four digits of the social security number. Convinced the transient was Miller, the officer took him to jail, where he was booked under the wrong name. The next day, fingerprints confirmed McDade's real identity, and he was charged with giving police a false ID. I have been more than nice to you. Everything coming out of your mouth seems like one lie after another. The arresting officer noticed Miller had tattoos and scars. The database indicated the wanted fugitive also had tattoos and scars. Everything matched except the height. How tall are you? The height said 5'7". Despite being much taller than the person listed on the warrant, police took Miller to jail, where he was locked up for more than 12 hours. It was hell. It was hell. It was horrible. It was horrible. Miller was released the next afternoon when fingerprints confirmed he was not McDade. What kind of apologies did you get? None. Nope. Now, the Cocoa Beach Police Department insists their officers acted appropriately, saying that McDade provided enough personal information to convince them that he was Miller. Now, the Daytona Beach Police Department, which arrested Miller, said their officers made the best judgment they could at the time with the equipment they had. Volusia County Jail representatives said they could not release Miller until all of the verification steps were complete. Holy cow. Wow. I need a drink of water just <laughs> watching that story. It need is more so than water. Oh, my. Okay, so if we find ourselves in this situation, how can we avoid becoming a victim of identity theft and having something like this happen? Well, you may not know that you're the victim of identity theft, but... There are ways to correct something like this. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement does work with identity theft victims to try to get their personal information removed from someone else's criminal history mm. file. Uh, we passed that on to Jonah Miller. We've also posted a link to that information on our website. So just look for this story on there. Knew but his birthday, last four somehow. of the social. And Miller has no idea how this guy, he says he hasn't yeah. seen in years, Crazy. got all that info. But no apology from anyone. They all said they... Did, did what the right they needed thing. to do yeah. at the time. Mm. All right. All right, Mike. Okay, thanks. Excellent.